Hey boys and girls, today I'm going to do a video on what's on my Android as a request from a special viewer. Now it should be said that I have a Samsung Galaxy S5 and it's been treating me pretty well. I know there's other uh, Galaxies out there, but this thing's still uh, rocking out just like I want it to. Uh, let's start with what I think most people should have. Uh, I have a weather app. At the top, weather widget. Let you see how things uh, how things are going. Now, starting from the top left, I got a friend locator, and with this, it helps me keep track of uh, where my friends are, and helps my friends keep track of where I am. And that's uh, that's pretty much a good Android version of Find Friends. I got Videoder, uh, an app you can use to download YouTube videos. YouTube uh, does not like that, so I probably shouldn't be featuring it here. Anyways, this is great for downloading MP3s and movies. Mm -hmm. Great for downloading MP3s and just uh, checking out the music before you buy it. And then Google Rewards. I love Google Rewards. I like having money for nothing, basically. Uh, Google Rewards, I uh, done a previous video on it. With Google Rewards, you can get Play Store credits. You can spend it on Pokeballs and all kinds of fun stuff like that. All in one toolbox is an excellent way to boost any system, new or old. I use it quite a bit, honestly. It is, uh, it's very good for speeding up any system that you might have. I would highly recommend it. It definitely sped up my TF300, Asus uh, TF300, to being in a usable position, a usable state. Of course, we have play music. Uh, I have here the GPS, offline GPS. I switched from nav-free to here because when I really needed nav-free to work, it did not. I was uh, downtown Toronto. And I needed to get to sick kids, and that one time when I absolutely needed it to work, it did not. Which really stinks. It's unfortunate, but it's just how she goes. Uh, Amp Fear is an awesome app that you can get to let you know just how much your system is charging. Let me plug this system in. Of course it has to measure and just give it a sec I love using this for troubleshooting sometimes chargers say they're one thing and they're definitely not they're definitely another thing so next up we have Prisma Prisma is great for girls if they want to mess with pictures if they want to change pictures around So let's find uh, let's find a picture. And yes, with Prisma you can change it, change the image to look like all kinds of cool things. Make it look artistic and that kind of stuff. It's great for messing around with things. It's definitely the kind of thing that uh, my wife likes to play with. All right. And then Play Store, of course, camera. Got a flashlight widget. You press it, it comes on. It's straightforward, perfect for me. Skype, everybody needs Skype. AZ screen recorder when I'm recording uh, this screen with right here. Analytics, Google Cardboard. Google Cardboard is awesome if you have an Android and you don't use uh, Google Cardboard. What's wrong with you? You can get a good cardboard set up for next to nothing on eBay. I have a plastic version I got for seven bucks shipped. And then top right, we have the uh, the studio. Everybody on YouTube uses the studio. Tells you a little bits about how much you're making, how well you're doing. Smart remote. I love smart remote. I use that all the time, especially at work when I have hundreds of TVs all over the place. 
all different manufacturers. This is particularly good for me when my wife goes to bed and leaves the TV on something I hate watching. And I'm at my, uh, my laptop. I'm going to use that. Just like that, you can uh, control all kinds of units. And not just TVs, you can also control air conditioner systems, VCRs, DVDs, all that kind of stuff. Maybe I shouldn't say VCRs. My files, of course, everybody needs to be able to see what's on their system. My radar. Really cool weather radar. Shows you how the cloud cover is doing. It's a beautiful day right now, so you don't see much. But here, if I scroll in over here, over Seaforth, you can see there is a little off. Huh, I've never seen it do that before. Interesting. Not sure what's going on there. Yeah, it's great for weather, great for seeing what's going on. Carmageddon, if you never played Carmageddon, go look it up. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. You got uh, the OS monitor, Pokemon Go, uh, the antivirus, AVG. I'd recommend anyone that has an Android have AVG antivirus. DC Comics, love me some comics. And you got to support the industry. You got to support comic books every now and then. So this is where I actually go and buy my comics. I used to like to go to the store and buy them and have a reserved bin. But between the store selling my comics and Diamond Distributors being a bunch of buttheads, uh, they don't get every issue in it. I sure as heck ain't going to pay for comic books when they get me issue one, three, five, nine kind of thing. Hey, if you can get me every issue in... Every time I want it, if you give me every issue in the series I want, you got my business. But I have not been able to find a comic book store that will do that for me. Anyways, YouTube, Amazon, private internet access, VPN. That's something I would definitely recommend that uh, everybody get. With this sucker, you can connect and make it look like you're coming from all over the place. Here I got it done automatically. But let's say if you're in a country that doesn't have Netflix and you want to view Netflix from a country that it does work, you can just scroll through here and it'll make it look like you're coming from any country that you want. And what's really cool about private internet access uh, app is that uh, with one account, you can hook up all of your things. I have this running on my Apple, my Android, my computer, anything I can put it on, I will put it there. The all-in-one toolbox, another, uh, wait, didn't I already mention that? I did, I have that on there twice. Well, I can take care of that. Anyways, AutoGuard, a great way to record your driving, where you're going. I haven't really had to use this. But yeah, that app is definitely very cool because it shows you where you're going on the bottom. And on the top, it records where you're going. But yeah, the GPS on the bottom, that is freaking awesome. I think it's the best thing. It is the coolest. Mm -hmm. That's why this one's my favorite. Also, once you get home, it can automatically upload to YouTube. BT notification, that's what I use to hook up to my uh, super cheap uh, super cheap smartwatches like the DZ09, uh, the M26, stuff like that. That's what I use for that. Wi-Fi analyzer is very cool. You can see everything that's going on in the Wi-Fi around you. Everything. And you have different ways... So look at it. Time graph, this is very cool. You can troubleshoot your Wi-Fi with this. You can troubleshoot it beautifully, very nice to have. Let's see what other views we have. 
access point list signal meter with this you can track the signal of a Wi-Fi location so actually I use this to find one of my Wi-Fi helicopters in the backyard is a big field and I got my helicopter lost back there and I use this to find it I was just walking around this thing usually does a beep 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 hey here let me turn the sound on for you so the closer I walk to my access point the louder it gets My access point is upstairs right now. There we go, I'm right under the access point. So yeah, you can actually track down the exact location of a Wi-Fi hotspot of uh, something providing Wi-Fi, which is really cool, I gotta say. What else I got in here? Coursera. I like to take uh, internet courses and keep savvy with everything, with what's going on. I don't have any that I'm working on right now. I just got through internet history, and that is very awesome. Coursera, you can go there and get a lot of free courses, and if you want to pay for the diploma, you can. Just like Udemy. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, most of the rest of this stuff I don't use too much. Kids mode I definitely use. As soon as I come in, my daughter Aggie runs right to me with her arms open wide, and she pulls out my cell phones from my pocket. So, with this, uh, I limit the apps she can use. Honestly, the only reason I use this is so that she can't call 911. As you can see, I have Carmageddon within the list, and that's not age appropriate for her, but she's just a, <laughs> she's a year and a half, so she's not going to be opening it and playing it. I do got to remove it from there. But hey, while we're here, I got two apps in here I don't have featured on my uh, main screen. Magic Sand is one I love using with my daughter. I, you can see why. I'm just touching the screen. And it does all kinds of cool swirly stuff. I have this on my, my tablet, my Transformer TF300. And I let my daughter play with that and she loves it. Getting into network analysis tools. This is Wi-Fi Faux Fum. You can do a lot of war driving with this. You can see what's going on. But uh, I almost think like they haven't updated it in a while. I haven't been able to use it so nicely. And when I could, all of the open Wi-Fi... So basically this will tell you where all the open Wi-Fi places are around you. But lately there hasn't been anything. Maybe just because my town's so unbelievably small. It tells me exactly where everything is. And uh, when it was working, it didn't update very quickly. I had, I had a neighbor who had a Wi-Fi thing open and then she moved and it was on here. I, I didn't register it, somebody else did. It was on here and she moved and, she, and that thing was still on there about a year later. So, take it with a grain of salt. Definitely pretty cool to have. And let's get back. Wait, gotta hit the X button. And it's got to have Adobe Acrobat, that uh, Fundo thing. I haven't used it at all yet. But I probably will when I start getting my cheap Fitbit eBay bits coming in. And then I got the tiny cam monitor. I don't have it set up right now. But I would use this if I wanted to check out uh, webcam security cameras. I uh, have a video on how to set up. Use old Android to set up a video recording system around your place. And, uh, of course, I got Duo. Duo. Duo's great. F Duo's good for video calling. Video calling your friends on Android. And it's on Android and iOS. It's really simple. It's so simple. I would say that this thing, uh, I would say this is easily a, uh, a Skype killer, at least for video. Not everyone's going to use Skype for just video, but it's also going to take a chunk out of FaceTime. We shall see, though. 
we shall see. And that's all. You know what? Let me just go through the app, see if there's anything I'm missing. I do use Polaris Office, I gotta say, but there's nothing too fun about that. I got smart tools, <laughs> I never use it. Maybe maybe now and then I'll use uh, I'll use smart tools. Maybe I should have a deeper look into that. Let us look at smart tools. I actually legit legitimately bought that about three years ago. Shoot, probably five years ago now. Uh, anyways, someone at work said, I will never develop for Android because there's no money in it because there's so many pirates. And when he said that, I was like, uh-huh, really? So I went home and I spent like 50 bucks on apps. And I think I, let's, let's say that I got 10 apps that day. Only two of them are still available through the marketplace. And kind of what ticks me off is stuff like text free or text plus. I got the gold version and then they just stopped using it. And now I think it's text now they're calling it. So I put the money down and after a certain amount of time, it was no longer available. I see what they're getting out with that. They got to make their money. And my five bucks will only go so far, but I just kind of wish I was warned about that. Anyways, this is... It's uh, it's pretty good. You got your uh, you got your rulers, you got your levelers. What I use the most, love me the leveler. And I can't. I gotta wonder if if my phone is flat enough. I can actually use it as a lev leveler, especially with the crazy cases I put on it. Conversions, distance. Now, distance is an interesting thing. I'm supposed to be able to use it to see how far away something is or how big something is in the distance. But unfortunately, I don't understand or care to understand this enough to calibrate it. One of these days, one of these days, today is not that day. And then you get your compass, which is kind of hit or miss. The sound recorder, not the sound recorder, but it basically tells you how powerful the sound is. I'm able to use a microphone because I'm using it right now. And then the light. The light, you can either use a flashlight. I already got one of those apps. Magnifying glass, all that fun stuff. Yep. So that is my phone. That's my what's on my Android. And I hope you enjoy it, guys. I hope you learned something, you found something you like. And uh, like and subscribe if you like what you see. Let me know if there's anything that you think I should have. Something I'm missing, maybe. It's always good to have a few suggestions. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Catch you later.